Hey, this is Matt from Newmark at the Gear for Music Studios, and today we're looking at the Mixstream Pro. The Mixstream Pro is a completely standalone two channel unit with built in speakers and engine DJ on board. So straight away at the box with the Mixstream Pro, we can get started mixing with tracks from streaming services such as Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport or BeatSource, and also get mixing straight away with the inbuilt speakers. So there's no need to even purchase any external monitors. So let's take a look at how we navigate the Mixstream Pro. So right now I'm browsing on a playlist here and I simply can swipe in and load a track. And the same goes for streaming content as well. If I hit my browse feature and then source, and head straight to Tidal, I can find any track from Tidal. This could be a playlist I've created on my phone, or it could be any of the Tidal's curated playlists. So let's head to Genres, and let's go to Electronic, Playlists, head to Future Proof, and I can load any of these tracks into the deck, track buffers, and I can now play streaming content. Another cool playlist feature that Engine DJ provides is Play as Playlist. So here on my Future Proof Title Playlist, I can tap at the top here, Play as Playlist, select a deck, and now that entire title playlist will play across one deck. And I can also choose the crossfade time in my settings menu. So this is great if you want to play a warm-up playlist before your main DJ set. So now let's take a look at the mixer section. We have a two-channel setup with our three-band EQ and our combined high and low-pass filter on each channel. For our effects, we have four built into the unit. Echo, flanger, delay, and phaser. And to trigger these effects, we use our paddles here. We can either latch the effect on or trigger it momentary by tapping the paddle. This style of effects triggering is something we normally see on scratch mixers, and it's a very fun and very intuitive way to quickly assign effects to each track. Now let's take a look at the pad modes on each deck. We have four across each deck, our Q, Save Loop, Auto Loop, and Roll. These also work in two banks. If I hold Shift and Q, you can see on the screen here, that it's changing the values of the Roll and the Auto Loop, and also my Q point slots as well. So let's start with this bank of rolls. Now if I switch to my empty Q bank, I can place some new Q points into my pads. So I'll hit Shift and Q. We're in our empty slots now. Let's move the jog wheel. Place a Q point here. So really simple and really intuitive. And then next to the pads, we have all the features you would expect to find on a DJ unit. We have our pitch fader, pitch bend range, which when using shift, we can change the value of our pitch fader, sync mode, cue, and then our play and pause. And also we have two modes for our jog wheels. The regular. And then our slip mode. Now you can see there, when I move the jog wheel back, the track continues to play underneath. And finally, at the bottom of the unit, we have our built-in speakers. So on each side of the unit here, we have two built-in speakers under these grills. And they're controlled via our volume here, which is independent from the main output. So the great thing here is if you want to quickly get up and running mixing tracks together, you can do it without the need for external monitors, as these provide plenty of power so you can monitor your mixes. 
So we've talked about getting started mixing tracks from streaming services, but of course we have options to play from USB and SD as well. We have two USB ports at the back of the unit, as well as a slot for an SD card. Then for our main audio outputs, we have a pair of balanced XLR outputs and then unbalanced RCAs. Okay, let's take a look at some of the options we have within Engine DJ on our touchscreen. If I use our pull down menu here, I've got access to my source, so I can choose where I'm playing tracks from. Next, we have Wi Fi. Now you can see I'm already connected, so I've got instant access to things like Tidal, Dropbox, and other streaming services. If we go back to that menu, I've got my record option, so I can record a set to either an SD card or a USB. And then finally, we have our onboard lighting control via engine lighting by SoundSwitch. Then above that, we've got access to our quantize on and off. This means any pad you hit will be in time with the beat grid. Continuous play, which will play a playlist in sequential order. Our platter stop time, which we can adjust here. Our crossfader contour, so if we want to go for a more scratching practice, we can set it to really tight, or more of a blend mixing style. Move it to our other setting here. Then finally, split cue. Now what split cue does, it allows you to mix completely in headphones. You'll have your master output and your cue assignment in both ears. Then if we page over, we've got our user settings. So we can page these different tabs here, choose, let's say, a library setting, and then change how we want the key to be displayed. So for example, we could use traditional music notation or the Camelot system. And finally, we can assign different deck colors. Then if we head to setting, you've now got your mixer settings, your microphone settings. So for example, we could route the microphone input to the speakers. And finally, you see services. This is where we turn on our services like engine lighting, our streaming partners, and Ableton Link. If you're playing tracks from USB, which you've prepared in Engine DJ, this allows you to take full advantage of the searching feature on the unit. If I tap my magnifying glass here and tap my keyboard option, you can see I've got very fast browsing available from the keyboard. So I can find a track, load it into a deck very quickly. If we head back to the search menu here and just remove the keyboard, we can also do real-time playlist editing. Now you can create playlists within Engine DJ, but you can also edit them on the screen. Now these are things you can normally do on a laptop which you've now brought to the standalone environment. I can tap my pen icon here, create a playlist, let's give this a name, tap create, and I can select tracks, drag them over to a brand new playlist. And I can also delete this new playlist by swiping across and tapping remove. So that's real-time playlist management on the fly directly from the unit. So of course we can get more in-depth with searching as well. If I tap on my search icon, and you can see I've got access to genre, artist, album, BPM, and key. So let's tap BPM. And let's go with one, two, three. We can also filter this down again. If I tap BPM here and go with artist, I can also reorder it to track rating, title, date added, genre, comment, and then flip those searches using the arrow icon.